hello welcome back in this lecture uh, i'll explain you switching power dissipation it's also a family member of dynamic power dissipation so let us now try to elaborate to understand what is switching power dissipation and how it happens uh, switching power dissipation uh, happens because of the switching activity means making the output high or low that involves charging the load capacitance and discharging the load capacitance charging the load capacitance is to make the logic uh, level of the output as one to make output one you have to charge the capacitor to make output low you have to discharge the capacitor for that you need to plan your pull up and pull down devices accordingly now consider for some combination of inputs if the pull up device is short circuit pull up device is on and pull uh, pull up network is on and pull down network is off in such conditions the current i of p uh, will be drawn from the supply and it will be charged it will be uh, passed through the pull up device and charges the capacitor because pull down network is off because pull down network is off the current cannot take this path current has to take this path um, meanwhile it is charging the capacitor for some uh, other combinations of inputs like uh, logic uh, input even the logic input changes at the gate pull uh, some cases uh, pull up network will be off and pull down network will be on when the pull down network will be on what happens the capacitor which is fully loaded fully charged will now get a path to discharge through pull down network to the ground now current flows in this network uh, in the previous case current was flowing in the pull up network now in this case current is flowing in the pull down network now uh, during the transition from 0 to 1 during the transition from 0 to 1 that means 0 to VDD the energy drawn from the power supply is given by what is energy energy is integral area under the power curve so uh, area under the power curve can be found by integrating the power curve integrate integral 0 to supply voltage 0 to 1 so integral 0 to supply voltage p of t dt which will be p of t is v into i of t so this v into i of t where i of t is the uh, charging current instantaneous current drawn from the supply voltage which is charging the capacitor from 0 to vdt now uh, it can be expressed as i is equal to well, what this current is doing this current is charging the capacitor so we need to write the current equation in terms of capacitance uh, this thing so i of t is equal to cl into dv naught by dt i is equal to cdv by dt where v naught is the output voltage uh, as the current as the charging current is flowing into the capacitor uh, output voltage is rising so you can now uh, note down uh, sub, you can substitute this equation in this equation you can get e naught of t is equal to vdd into integral 0 to vdd c dv by dt this c dv by dt keep this vdd out and because this is only changing this is constant so uh, rewrite re the constant outside of the integral and changing things you write here now uh, that will be CL, this is the energy drawn from the uh, source of the VDD, uh, the supply battery to charge the capacitor. Now uh, this is the energy drawn from the, now uh, the part of the energy is drawn from the supply voltage is, low, is used to load the capacitor and rest of the energy will be wasted. How much it is uh, wasted? Because in one transition it is 0 to 1, 0 in 0 to T. There are two transitions going going up and going down. So if you integrate how much time it is, it has to it is from zero to VDD, zero to VDD, C L D V naught by DT, C L D V naught by DT, which will give you half of C V square. So half of this energy is used to charge the capacitor, rest of the half is wasted in the form of power dissipation. Now, as we all uh, know, this is from for one uh, transition. This is for only one transition. Whereas such one uh, such transitions, f, f number uh, f number of transitions may take place 
uh, in one second because f is the operating frequency there are so many operations may take place so you need to multiply that with the frequency that is why it is came cl vcc is a vdd square into f this is the this is the amount of uh, switching power that is being consumed now in this uh, switching power dissipation there are different uh, uh, kinds called uh, first one is dynamic power uh, for a complex gate uh, dynamic power means instantaneously varying power right so dynamic power is equal to load power plus internal load power at internal nodes uh, voltage swing uh, swing voltage swing is small so you cannot consider the whole power as same because at some internal load like wherever there is a pass transistor uh, supplying the input pass transistors cannot pass transistors n mass pass transistors cannot give good high they can give good low but they cannot give good high the output uh, the high output of pass transistor will be vdd minus vt only so you should consider load power plus internal load power which is whose swing is very less now this reduced uh, swing because of this pass transistors will be uh, e from 0 to 1 will be c v c cl vdd into this vdd minus vt is because of the pass transistors now internal load power is see here uh, for example internal load power changes because uh, for a combination of 110 see uh, for a combination of 110 1 1 0 in this circuit 0 makes this transistor on p transistor turns on for zero input so uh, for zero input c c transistor will be on uh, making the capacitor charge through c transistor c so cl gets charged now the same inputs 110 is applied to this uh, pull down network also this one makes the transistor on that is this charge this current comes to a and charges c1 through a it charges c1 this input is also one second input is also one so a second input is also one this transistor will also be short circuit now that the current from the load capacitance will also come through b to charge c2 whereas c is zero uh, it cannot go to ground so this this current takes these two uh, take charges these two capacitors which is also called as charge sharing so this is called as internal load power this internal load power will be see this mechanism the capacitor uh, through c it is charging and through a and b it is charge it is further charging c1 and c2 which we have raised the power consumption so this is this is internal node power now this is the internal node power which involved c1 c2 and cl all the three capacitances all the three capacitances whereas we normally expect only cl to involve in the power consumption but C2 and C1 also have, are involving in power consumption. Uh, the next one is this uh, switching activity. In this uh, switching activity, the switching activity at the output of a static CMOS gate depends uh, strongly on the function it realizes okay switching activity definitely it, it should definitely depends upon the function it is assumed that the inputs are independent uh, to each other and the probability of occurrence is zero, zero occurrence of zero and one is considered as same now the power consumed is at in zero state it is n naught by 2n and there is the same uh, as because this is one state it is n one by two power n now from 0 to 1 transition from 0 to 1 takes the multiplication of these two n naught by 2 power n into n, n 1 into 2 power n which has resulted in n naught of 2 power n minus n naught by 2 power 2 n so this is how uh, this uh, power consumption 
uh, switching activity involves power consumption from 0 to 1 as well as 1 to 0 also that has been uh, tabulated in this to input NAND gate to input NAND gate like that for different gates it has been shown in this uh, slide okay uh, this is uh, switching power dissipation i hope you understood thank you